In today's video, guys, I'm going to be playing the 20 win challenge going all the way from zero to 20 wins. At 20 wins, you unlock an exclusive emote and there's elite wild cards too and gold along the way and a couple chests. Let's get right into it. I decided to do a full walkthrough because on my YouTube community tab, I asked if you guys want to see the final few games or the whole challenge. And to my surprise, 85% of people wanted to see the full challenge. So I decided to use this Sparky deck here because I think that not only is Sparky Goblin Giant one of my best decks, I also think it is one of the best decks in the game right now too. The Little Prince pairs very well with it. The Lightning is pretty good against Little Prince. And then the arrows are very good because there's a lot of people using the archers right now, especially because of their evolution. So I decided to do the full challenge too because it'll help you guys really understand how to use this deck if you guys are looking for a deck that is good for the challenge. And I would say that this deck is a little easier to use too than some other decks in the game too. So I think it's a really nice deck if you're looking for one to use to complete the challenge. And this is, you know, a pretty good start. You guys might be wondering, you know, why that is considering we lost, you know, a little bit of our tower health, but he's very low on elixir. So I'm pretty confident we're going to take the tower right here. I would be pretty surprised if he defends this with this, you know, pretty massive elixir advantage. And that Valkyrie didn't even end up taking out the Sparky there. So just like that, we're going to be able to, yeah, already take his tower. Unfortunately, the mini P.E.K.K.A. was able to deal with the Sparky, so we're not going to get a three crown right then and there. But very nice start to the first match here. Not really, a, I guess, you know, a massive surprise because generally, kind of like in Grand Challenges, in the 20 win challenge, usually the first few matches are going to be, you know, against off meta decks. But I think that's why you guys might appreciate seeing the whole challenge because you get to see how I would play against all sorts of different decks, you know, regardless of if they're a meta deck or off meta. So I think I'm just going to go for the three crown here because at this point, we already pretty much have the win. I mean, if he has the Evo recruits the next time around, you know, he, he played them right here, but you know, and by the way, the Little Prince and the Evolved Knight are still extremely broken even after the nerf they got. So you don't have to worry about that. The nerf, you know, hardly affected them at all and there we go nice and easy three crown game one one down 19 to go it's only gonna get harder so i'll i'll enjoy you know the first few you know games as best as i can here so i like to play the knight pretty early on because then you get the evolved knight and this deck is kind of a heavy deck so don't be you know overly aggressive in singles some matchups you kind of want to build up a push and double and triple but it also depends a little bit there's some games like if your opponent over commits in single or you get a nice counter push with the Sparky, you definitely can go in, but just be mindful when you do. So this guy's got the Elixir Collector. That probably means he could be running... Okay, so he is using the Expo Pump deck. That's kind of new in the meta. It's pretty good with the Little Prince. That defensive Expo actually is going to get him some pretty good value, so I would say that was a decent play. I'm just going to go for a Barbarrel here because it will probably get one shot on top of the expo help you know whittle it down it forced a knight out of him so i guess that's pretty good for me and this isn't that bad of a matchup because the little prince is actually an incredible counter to the expo and also we have a good amount of tanks as well as the lightning which can be pretty good against the expo as well now we do have to you know be a little cautious about the elixir collectors because those do get some good value especially because i don't have that good of a spell against it but you know, I think we can work our way around that. I would go arrows there just because I really want to take out that little prince. I'm going to actually pop my ability here. Perfect timing. We end up taking out the goblins. This should probably be tower down, I want to say, because he doesn't have a lot of elixir because he hasn't gotten all that elixir back yet from the collector. We end up killing it there. And just like that, it's looking more and more like this is going to be a very, very easy game two over here. So really good stuff thus far. I might just set up and go for the three crown to be honest i might just go dark prince here maybe i'll try to go bar barrel on this little prince just to you know take it out i don't know if he's even going to go for the ability oh wow he collected okay yeah this is just going to be a three crown right here nice and easy game two i think i don't know actually are we going to even get the three crown here or um let's see maybe he'll defend but let's go arrows maybe i th i think oh okay we clipped the ice spirit I'm just trying to get the three crown here because I know we already have the win. I'm just trying to save some time. Okay, so lightning coming in. I don't know if he'll catch the bar barrel in time. Let's just go for it. See if he does. There we go. Another three crown. GG. 2-0. We claimed our 10,000 gold. All right. 
Game three. So far, so good. We got Knight again in our starting hand. That's kind of what we want to see. We got Dark Prince as well, Barbarrel, and Arrows. So let's just go ahead and go Knight in the back. Should be a fine starting play here. And he's going to go Recruits first play. I guess that's respectable, kind of. I mean, Recruits first play is a little toxic, but, you know, with the Evo Recruits, I guess it kind of makes sense. They want to get to it as soon as possible. I'm just going to try to go for a Barbarrel here to see if I can... Okay, let's see. Hopefully I can... Okay, very good stuff over there. That would have been very annoying if he protected it. That could have been a problem. So this guy is looking like he's just running the Recruits bait deck. Like he probably has Skelly Barrel. Maybe he has Mighty Miner potentially. That would be my guess. Okay, so he's actually got the Bomb Power. That probably means... Oh, wow. Okay, a little off meta because you see he does have the Ice Wizard. So very interesting for sure because typically you only see Ice Wizard in Graveyard decks. Let's just go for a Dark Prince in the back here, and okay, that was a really bad minor because that's a pretty big overcommitment, so what we probably can do is just go for a Goblin Giant here, even though we don't have a Sparky down sometimes. This is the one big tip for people running Goblin Giant Sparky. You don't always have to have a Sparky down every time you go for a Goblin Giant push because the Goblin Giant, ever since it got that buff, has been very good inside of... Well, it, it's a very good win condition, and sometimes you can just go for pushes, you know, without having to rely on the Sparky, if that makes sense. I guess that's the best way to explain it. So definitely don't feel like you're obligated to have to go for a Sparky every single time. You know, you don't have to. Of course, most of the time, that's the ideal scenario, especially in Double and Triple Elixir, but it just really depends on the situation and, of course, the matchup as well and the cycle you have and also the cycle your opponent has, for that matter. So let's just go for a Knight here and go for a Goblin Giant. We're going to be pretty aggressive because, obviously, we have our Sparky down. We're in Double Elixir. We have the Evo Knight as well, so we definitely want to get a good push going. And, okay, he might be able to defend because, I mean, the Evo recruits are, you know, pretty good, obviously, against the Sparky. But it looks like we are able to... I'm actually going to go for a Lightning here. He didn't even use the ability, so maybe a little bit of a mistake on his end. Because if he did end up going in for the Guardian there, it probably would have helped him defend quite a bit. So he's getting a little desperate for damage, as you can see. We can just let that one Wallbreaker connect. And it's looking more and more like this should be a pretty easy Game 3 over here. We just have to either get two Lightnings on the tower or... I don't know, get like a Goblin Giant getting a little bit of damage. The Little Prince has a long range, so we can just do this to snipe the two recruits on the other lane, and then we're kind of chilling from there. And let's see, he'll probably go for a Bomb Tower. Uh, okay, let's actually just Lightning that, and then all we really got to do is just get back to... Okay, he didn't even use the ability again, so... Okay, yeah, nice arrows will kill that, and that should be game because he doesn't have a lot of Elixir right there, and there we go. That's another, another easy win over there. 3-0, here we go, game number four. All right, Christopher Gom. So, we got Sparky in our starting hand, so if he starts off, you know, pretty aggressively, we're going to have most likely a pretty good answer to that. Let's just go for a uh, Barbarrel over here, I guess, to kick things off, and he's going to go Magic Archer. I'll just Sparky. I don't know, this might be a little bit, a little aggressive. Maybe I should have just gone Knight, but I think it's okay because... I don't know, it's a 4 elixir card. Oh, well, that is not... That's not good. That's not what you want to see. I will say, though, a lot of people were saying the Monk is a really good counter to the... Oh! Wow, I'm sorry for... Yeah, that was a loud yell there. But, um, okay, he kind of mistimed that. Uh, well, um, that's probably already game. Honestly, that's it's probably already over. I I would I would say at this point because he kind of just wasted you know a whole five elixir mistiming that ability. Um, I didn't get my little prince ability down there, but wow, that was um <laughs> pretty brutal for him to say the least. So um this if, if that's gonna three crown if he doesn't respond. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, it's it's pretty much over. I'm Sparky here. I don't think he can immediately go for a monk because he doesn't have the elixir. I'm pretty sure because he just played the barbarians. So what I might do, I don't know. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna gob giant here because, and that doesn't even kill the Sparky. So yeah, not a great monk by him. I mean, I, I get, I'll give him credit. Like at least he timed it well this time, but not the right situation to be doing that so gg
Four wins now, let's claim our 20,000 gold and keep going. All right, here we go. Almost, I guess, 25% of the way through the challenge. So we're making some pretty good progress here, I would say. Let's just go Little Prince in the back, and he's going to go for a Dark Prince in the other lane. So what I'm thinking is we probably could just kite this with a Goblin Giant. Ooh, it's probably a mirror match. Very good chance of it being one anyway. Um... I'm just gonna chill because the Sparky's not gonna splash both of them. I'm actually a little surprised that he um, let that little prince get all that damage. He kind of went for the Ewiz late, and because he just played the Ewiz, very good time to go for my own Sparky. If he goes for Gob Giant, I think I'm definitely gonna. Okay, I think I'm li gonna lightning this for sure. Um, okay, nice. Barbell came in just in the nick of time. That was a little bit too close for comfort i'm gonna knight here if he goes minions i'm not gonna have enough to arrow or if he has maybe like a phoenix mega minion something like that but he actually opts to go for a dark prince and that's not even gonna be enough yeah he has to go this might seem weird but i'm gonna purposely let the mini pekka get a shot on my tower here because what that's actually gonna do is allow me to i don't know it, it's i'm gonna have a really good counter push now so what I'm going to do is send in a Dark Prince, and this is likely going to be Tower Down unless he has, like, a perfect response here or something, because he doesn't have, um, a lot of Elixir. And as you can see, with the Guardian, that should probably be almost Tower, so definitely the right call there. Sometimes it's worth it to take damage for kind of the greater good. I will say I have to deal with this now, but I can just go Gob Giant, and he'll probably go Mini P.E.K.K.A., but to be honest, like, it's okay because yeah i mean yeah we already got the tower okay he decides to just sparky up so that might have been a good call on his end i don't really know but likely i could probably just go for a lightning and defend without too much trouble i don't even think he's gone for a single goblin giant yet this whole match which is quite interesting okay so he's gonna go for a dark prince in the other lane we definitely got to watch out here he's probably gonna go for yep there it is so he decides to go for some opposite lane pressure which is pretty smart actually i think because if he went um okay so we'll probably just go for arrows here on this and okay nice he didn't even get the ability off in time so that's going to be gg his only chance would have been getting the ability off there because that made defending it really easy the fact he didn't get the ability off in time so yeah very quick games thus far i mean this is yeah sometimes pretty normal early on and then of course as we get halfway through the challenge things are gonna probably ramp up pretty quickly so yeah nice win over here in this kind of a mirror match i mean he had ewiz i guess instead of probably one of my spells or something like that but either way gg 25 percent of the way through the challenge now Alrighty, righty we're against diego a we do have our knight in our starting hand i'm just gonna chill a couple seconds okay there we go i was gonna say if he wanted to make the first play now we'll just go knight same lane and he's got an elixir collector so unfortunately because i don't have my lightning and cycle i'm likely just gonna have to it really sucks but i, I kind of have to um just let that be i it, you can't really it's not worth over committing on a collector i guess that's kind of the best way to put it so yeah it, it kind of sucks but he's gonna have a pretty big elixir lead now it but you know it is what it is and i actually don't know what he's using because he has poison poison pump is a pretty interesting combination so i actually can't say for sure what deck this is just yet anyway um oh he has a this is actually very weird he, I, I i actually couldn't tell you guys what he's using he has freeze poison this is very strange. I don't know what deck he's using. Um, I almost wonder if he doesn't even have a win condition. I mean, that's weird to say or think, but he has Poison, Freeze, and, and Goblin Cage. So it would be... I, I'm very, very curious. Very curious to see what his win condition is. Because he's got two buildings and then two big spells. So I'm, I'm very, like... Okay, so it's it's Graveyard. I suppose that actually makes sense. This He's not going to take my tower, but he is going to get a lot of damage here. I don't think there was really much I could have done to avoid that, though, to be fair. Um, okay, so he is finally going to go for the ability. 
Um, I think with that graveyard, we might have something good go in here, just because he did kind of overcommit a little bit. Um, with that being said, though, I don't know for certain, because uh, I was really hoping that would kill that. Um, yeah, this is not looking too good, I'm not gonna lie. His freeze is getting so much value. I actually, we might lose here to this whack deck, which is a bit crazy, but... Um, let me see. It's not over yet. What I really need is, yeah, that lightning value right there. That's really good. Um, yeah, he, he... Oh, wow, wow, wow. I think he choked. I think he choked. Defensive Elixir Collector is not what you want, typically. Um, typically, that's not what you want. Um, and the Sparky splashed everything. Oh, thank goodness. I thought I was going to lose to this deck. I'm not going to lie, guys. If I lost to this deck... I, I would have been pretty angry. I, I would have been really mad. So, whew. We'll claim our 30,000 gold and head into the next one. We're against Gay Waha. Quite an interesting name. All right. So, we got Knight in our starting hand. And he's going to go three Musketeers. First play of the game. That is pretty wild. I, I have to say, that is pretty dang wild Um, to do that very first play of the game. Um... I might have to make the decision of just ignoring um, the one on the right and then just kind of going all in here because he did just spend so much elixir. Like, I don't know how he's going to be able to defend this. Like, he literally... Okay, he just went for defensive... He, he literally just played a defensive earthquake to the... I, I actually, honestly, after... I don't even know how he defended that. I mean, the mini P.E.K.K.A. really clutched up there. Because he, he literally went for a defensive Earthquake. Which is obviously getting almost no value. And he still <laughs> managed to defend that after going through Musketeer's first play. That is a little bit triggering. I'm not going to lie. That is a little triggering. But at least I know what his deck is now. And I also think he misplayed the Monk. Because, as you can see, uh, the Dark Prince was able to splash it as well as the tower, so that was kind of a costly mistake there on his end, and just like that, we take the lead. So I was a little worried, but I think now we're good. He might pop the ability just because... Yeah, so I'm glad I waited to play my little prince. Let's just play it now, now that the ability is going to expire, and there we go. So we have... Okay, we don't even need a lightning, because actually the bar barrel will probably just... That way we can save elixir, and yeah, that's definitely... Um, yeah, I would say that's better for sure. We'll just... Are you kidding me? Okay, at least I got the elixir back. What I notice is you get refunded every time you use the ability and you don't get the guardian. So that's really good. Sometimes with the other abilities, you don't get refunded. But I notice if it's never risky to play the ability because you always get your elixir back. Sometimes with the Skelly King and the Mighty Miner... Okay, that was a horrible elixir collector because first of all, if you're playing an elixir collector when there's less than a minute left, that is just very risky because it like... Oh my gosh, the Evo Skellies are such a pain. Such a pain. Luckily, the arrows are... That's another reason why having arrows in the deck is really good. Even though it's like... You know, even though it's obviously a negative trade, like, it, it's really good to have a spell that can just take them out and they not get infinite value. Because you can play the arrows anywhere on the map. So unlike, say, like a log or like the bar barrel, that, you know, at least you're always going to be able to reach them. Okay, so he's trying to get a little bit desperate here. He went Mike at, uh, Monk at the bridge. I, I think we're, yeah, we're, we're definitely fine. We're just going to go arrows here. And yeah, that's definitely going to be GG. So nice win over here. I would say, I don't know, probably not a horrible matchup, but he had a very weird deck too. So I don't know. 7-0. All right, here we go. This is for the eighth win. Apparently this guy has a YouTube too. So I guess shout out to this guy. Not sure who he is, but I guess you could... Check him out if you guys want to. Alright, so he's got minions. That's actually a pretty good sign because obviously we do have the arrows. I might go knight into the Sparky even though it seems kind of weird. Just because we do have the little prince behind. Okay, I didn't think it was going to splash both. That was a big mistake on my end. Kind of an unfortunate cycle to be fair though. Because I hate it when someone goes Sparky and I don't have my Sparky in hand. It's really bad, but... With that being said, <coughs> excuse me, that kind of came out of nowhere. Okay, so with that being said, though, 
I'm still fine, I think, with the situation. I'm, you know, confident in my ability to come back. I guess that's probably the best way to put it. So I'm just going to go for the ability here. Yep, I had a feeling he was going to go mini P.E.K.K.A. Came in right in time before... Wait, the mini P.E.K.K.A. killed it? I thought it stayed alive. I was about to say got it right in time before... This is kind of bad, not going to lie. This is actually really bad. I might, I might actually lose, at least with how this match is going thus far. Um, but I'm going to try my best to come back. I'm going to probably have to bar barrel here. Could have been worse, I suppose. Okay, he does pop the ability. I'm going to have to focus here. We kind of got starting handed a little bit, but I also kind of made a mistake at the same time um, going for the... Uh, ooh, he's got a fireball. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we can still win this. We can still win this. It's definitely not over. I just have to kind of play perfect from this point on. Um, so, like, not an easy task. But it's it's certainly not over. It definitely is not over. Especially because I do have the lightning. Um, which I think is very valuable in this type of matchup. Especially in... Um, uh, Okay, nice. It did end up retargeting. That's pretty good. And we do take out the little prince there. That is also very nice as well. And he just went for his fireball, which means the little prince is now gonna... Okay, nice, nice. I think he choked. That mini P.E.K.K.A. was really, really bad because it not it's not really doing anything for him. He's gonna have to Sparky now. I'm ready with my lightning though. Oh my gosh, we just won. Let's go. Nice. Really bad start. We turn things around. Very, very quick, though, and that is gonna be G. Let's go. It's for the eight wins. All right, so here we go. Benja Jr. All right, we got Knight, our starting hand. We got Sparky, Little Prince. Mm. Um, I'm just gonna kick things off with a Knight in the back. I feel like it's a fairly safe starting play. Like, you can't really get punished for doing that. I mean... You know, because it's like if they go opposite lane, you got your little prince, you got the sparky. Okay, so he's got bowler. Um, I guess I'll go sparky. I don't know. I could also have gone goblin giant in the back in the other lane. That probably would have been okay too, but I think this works. I think this is fine. Um, I'm considering whether I want to light that. I, I, oh, so he probably has E giant. If I had to guess, based off of him going in for that lightning. So this is going to be pretty interesting. Um, E-Giant. Okay, hopefully he's got the archers. If he has some other variation, it's probably going to be quite difficult. So I'm really hoping that he does have the archers because we have arrows for those. I guess even if he has tombstone, it's still pretty good because then... Of course, the um, the arrows are also going to get, you know, adequate value, I suppose, against that. So, um, I guess we'll see. Ooh, interesting bowler on his end over there. That's actually, wow, it's walking in the other... Okay, that was very, very interesting. That was weird. It, like, walked around. It's because the range of cards sometimes gets a little weird. Okay, he... Um... Wait a minute. Oh, I just realized this is not going to be that easy because he has Knight. He has uh, Knight E-Giant. That's, um... It, it's not that great. He's got a... So instead of him having Archers, he has the Knight. I just realized that. This is going to be... This is not going to be easy, but I'm going to do my best, obviously. We'll see what happens. Um, that was a very good lightning, and we actually got a lot of damage there. He's probably gonna lightning now. Um, maybe. Yeah, there it is. It's obviously a pretty decent lightning uh, value for him.
Um, okay, the Gob Giant's getting good, good, um, damage, so I can't complain with that, I guess, but it's not looking good. He does go Little Prince in that lane. Um, I'm gonna maybe, hmm, okay, let me try to go in here. Yeah, this might be an L. This is a pretty hard counter, especially with him having the knight instead of the archers. It just makes things really obnoxious. I have little prince in this lane, though, so... Let me see what I can do here. Oh no, he has his Evo Knight. I got a Lightning here. Okay, we hit everything. I'm gonna try to focus up, I'm not gonna talk much here. the other lane. Oh, that's going to put us 8 one. That's so unlucky that he's using, that he was using Knight instead of the Archers. That's probably like an 80-20 matchup for you, Giant. Oh, it's depressing to lose before, like, 12 wins, especially if you're a pro. Um, yeah, it's really annoying, to be honest. The first day of the 20 win is the hardest, though. It gets easier um, as time goes on. That's why when I stream and make other videos, doing it with other decks, I'm gonna, well, use, yeah, a variety of decks, because it gets, like, pretty easy over time, but... Yeah, that's... I, I, I can't believe I already lost. That's, like, really unlucky. I, I really don't understand why he had Evo Knight in that deck um, instead of the Evo Archers, because that's what, you know, most people use, so I don't understand. It just annoys me when people use a weird variant of a deck that I feel like you shouldn't use, but it's like it counters you, so it's like... Yeah, that kind of sucks. He had his Evo Archers already, so that kind of did nothing. And I'm already, I'm like kind of tilted from the loss, so I don't know if, um... I, I don't know. Like, I'm probably not like playing him... Um, like, 100%. Okay, well, those were really bad. Royal Hogs, he also just went Ice Spirit as well, so that's a pretty... Massive overcommitment there, I would say. Um, we could probably potentially even win off of that already right here, depending on what he does. I'm just going to arrow those. I'm going to get a lightning down, I hope. Eh, rip. I was hoping... Um, I don't know why that just came up the airpods case it's very weird okay nice yeah he definitely didn't deserve to defend that after wasting five elixirs so i'm glad i'm still a little disappointed though losing the previous game i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna feel very good until i get to i would say probably 12 wins in fact i would even say until i get to 
14 wins, I'm probably not going to feel very confident about the situation already having a loss because the hardest wins are obviously like, you know, 17, 18, 19, and then of course 20. So, well, here we go. I mean, if we win this, at least I'll be halfway, which is, you know, I suppose pretty nice, but still I'm not going to feel very good until I get to... Um, like, like I said, probably at least 12, I, I would even say like 14, um, but yeah, I've gotten 20 and 0 before, so, like, I know it's not the end of the world, like, losing early, but still, okay, so, I don't know, uh, this looks like some random deck over here, he's kind of just got, like, a bunch of random cards together, like, Firecracker, Goblin Barrel, Kind of like your typical mid-ladder deck. It doesn't really make any sense whatsoever. We'll see, though, what... He still has, you know, a few things he hasn't played yet. I'm probably just going to go for a Gob Giant here and then arrow this as soon as possible. This is a lot of Elixir I'm committing, so I'm really hoping he doesn't have some, like, perfect response to this. The P.E.K.K.A. is a, you know, I suppose a decent counter, but not the worst thing in the world. I feel like Little Prince does pretty you know okay against it so he um hmm yeah it's a weird deck i i don't really know what this is um i was gonna use the ability but i decided not to because i didn't really know what he was gonna drop is that gonna charge into the barrel yeah perfect that's really good that helped me out a lot there that was... wow, that was really annoying. Luckily though, I don't think he has any elixir, so I don't know if he's going to be able to defend this after... Uh, I think that might give us the lead. Yeah, there we go. Really good stuff. Yeah, he didn't have any elixir. Okay. And this should also be... oh wow, I actually missed it. That's kind of wild. Um, yeah, I'm definitely very tilted still from that loss. Like I said, I'm not gonna probably be playing 100% until I get to about maybe like 14 wins. That's probably when I'll be able to get over it eventually. That's not good though, because I should be in a good mindset, you know, um, the whole time regardless of what happens, but I'm pretty tired. I didn't get, you know, a, um, a lot of sleep last night, so that doesn't help either. I think I only slept like four and a half hours, so... Um, that, yeah, that doesn't help, but I'm gonna try to, um, yeah, power through and play the best I can the rest of this challenge. And yeah, that is, um, unfortunate he took my tower. Missing that, you know, barrel certainly didn't help. Um, we're gonna go Dark Prince here, I guess. Okay, yeah, nice, that was a really bad Valkyrie. We should be able to capitalize off of that. We're gonna go in here. And I think this should be game. We're not going to miss the juke this time. Sweet. And yeah, wow, okay. I don't know what happened there in the end. Uh, um, at the end there on his end. But yeah, there we go. We got it. GG. 10 and 1 now. 10 wins is gets you the epic chest. Okay, so we're against Simon here. This guy does have a top 300 royal tournament finish, which does imply he is at least somewhat decent. So I guess we can just go Dark Prince here and... From there, Sudi wants to do. Okay, he's going to go Little Prince. So he's got Little Prince and Goblins. Not really sure what this is just yet. You know, it could be a few different things. But I would probably guess it's probably something along the lines of, like, Miner or Hog. If I, like, had to take a guess. Um, but really, you know, we can't say for sure in this meta. So he does go... Um... Okay, he deliveries that. So I'm... Um, Probably going to go Sparky here because he's not going to have the delivery back in cycle for a little bit. And he does pre-place his bomb tower. So I'm kind of thinking about what I want to do. I don't really want to go all in with the Sparky, um, especially because he went knight like that. I actually think I'm going to... Oh, wow. I think he screwed up a little bit, not gonna lie. Um, I'm gonna little prince like that. Okay, nice. This is pretty good, I think. 
this might actually be GG, because look at the split lane pressure. We have in one lane a Goblin Giant Dark Prince, and in the opposite lane we got our Knight Little Prince. Nice, nice. I feel, I feel pretty good after this win, not gonna lie. I'm starting to feel a little better now, um, because we're getting closer and closer to, like, you know, like I said, like 12, 14 wins or so, where I'm start like, I'm more comfortable having a loss, I guess, let's put it that way. So, yeah, I think unless something crazy happens and I have a mega choke or whatever, we're, we're kind of chilling here. Yeah, I think he actually gave up, so that's gonna be GG, and now we'll be at 11 wins, so over halfway now through the challenge. Nine more to go. All right, here we go. He's gonna, wow, go very aggressive first play of the game. Goblins and Miner. He's actually kind of lucky I didn't have my Goblin Giant in cycle because I definitely would have, oh wow, especially with that log, I would have gone in there and he probably would have been in a lot of trouble because he would have had to overcommit so much. So he's going to go Knight. Let's actually just go Little Prince here. I kind of want to keep up the pressure just because he was so aggressive. He kind of um, messed up the Little Prince. It's not really going to do anything. Um... Okay, wow, yeah, so this is, yeah, quite a good start, I would say, for sure. Um, yeah, he's gonna go for his bomb tower, but we can actually, I'm just gonna go knight just to cycle it to get the Evo 1 ready, and yeah, he's probably gonna go, yeah, wow, he misclicked the, okay, so yeah, this guy's making a lot of mistakes over here, so this should probably not be too too difficult i mean this is not like an easy matchup because he has you know delivery bomb tower which get a lot of value but because of how he's playing i'm just got kind of going off of that that this probably isn't going to be super hard or anything but i guess we'll see what happens so we'll just go sparky same lane as his knight over here and yeah as you can see we already have our evolved knight so honestly if he goes in for a poison or something on top of this i could probably just go goblin giant evo knight and he won't be able to defend so i'm kind of curious if he does choose to do that it looks like though he's setting up his defense over here so let's try to get a push going okay he does go for the poison that's actually a pretty valuable poison i would say um he doesn't get the ability down but yeah honestly that was pretty easy defense i guess on his end but honestly in this type of matchup you get the bulk of your damage anyway and usually like triple elixir so i guess it's not really the end of the world that <coughs> we um of course like even though he made some mistakes we didn't really capitalize off of that because honestly that just hurts him more than it helps me in single because in single he should ideally be getting as much damage as possible because obviously um that's when i have a harder time getting damage in this type of matchup so as a result it's just going to be yeah probably easier um you know going forward in this game so He's probably going to be able to defend this pretty easily, but kind of like once again, we had pretty, yeah, easy defense and we still have the lead, so I'm not really too worried. He's going to go for probably the ability here, I would assume. No, he actually goes defensive minor, so that's pretty interesting. Um, I'm just going to go gob giant here, and then we'll probably go for a knight on his little prince. Um, yeah, let's go knight, and then I'll actually probably go barbarrel too, just in case, since... He, yeah, did go for the ability. And, yeah, our little prince is getting a good amount of value over here, I would say. Kind of sniping everything. We're going to go in here, I think. He might... Um, okay, let's just go gob giant in the back. That should be fine. Okay, yeah, that miner was a massive overcommitment. Definitely, um, he's not playing this clean at all. Like, a really good, you know, minor control player, like Muhammad Light, Morton, or whatever, definitely would be... In this type of situation winning and the fact that he isn't kind of shows that yeah he's definitely been making some mistakes but it's like understandable because of course like it's hard to play perfect i will say though he is getting kind of like you could say a little bit lucky with how many mistakes he's been making and he still is defending which is a little bit wild in my opinion but you know that's just sometimes how the game is as long as we get the win that's you know, at the end of the day, that's really the only thing I care about, so hopefully he doesn't somehow win this, because in my opinion, he definitely doesn't deserve to win, um, but, uh, okay, I can't lightning both, I'm gonna opt to just lightning the little prince, because I think 
That's ultimately more important than the bomb tower, because it went down anyways, as you can see. So, yeah, let's see if we can just... Yeah, I had a feeling this was going to happen in triple. He's just getting overwhelmed. And, yeah, here we go. Okay, wow, I don't know how he's still defending, to be honest. He's, like, hanging on by a thread, you could say. Okay, there we go. That was kind of excruciatingly long. At the end, I, th I thought I was going to win that, like, a minute ago, but we got the win. That's what's important. Okay, so that's going to put us 12-1. and 1. We get 15,000 elite wild cards, which is pretty nice. All right, we're against TMD Aaron here. I, I, I don't even know if this is the... If this is the real one, that's actually kind of crazy, because this is like a super OG player. So he's going to start off with a bar barrel, and then he has a knight, so that could, you know, be a lot of different things. I guess I'll just go for Little Prince here at the bridge, I might as well, because... Alright, so he decides to... I'm just going to go for a bar barrel here, and... Yeah, okay, so they just kind of cancel each other out. I would say that that's a pretty fine start. He's going to go Baby Dragon, so maybe he's using Graveyard. That would be pretty interesting i guess okay so that's in my opinion at least that's a very yeah i mean aggressive graveyard i'm not saying it's well i guess it wasn't that bad of a play because he defended but yeah that is very aggressive for sure um definitely in my opinion doesn't deserve to be able to defend this after committing that much elixir and sure enough he's not gonna be able to so Really nice win over here. I think we already won. I don't know if I'm speaking too soon, but I would say at this point, you know, against Graveyard especially, it's going to be a really massive uphill battle for him because not only does he have to take my tower, but then, of course, he's in a, um, you know, a two-tower situation. And, you know, that's not typically what you want to be in as the Graveyard player because then, you know, you have to... I don't know, it's just a lot harder to get damage, so we can honestly just play into this lane because I'm likely going to be able to defend. I really don't see how he's going to come back from this situation. In fact, I wouldn't even be surprised if this guy just gave up because, yeah, I think his situation is... Yep, so he gave up. That's that's going to be a win. Yep, there we go. Like I said, he gave up. Take that three crown. And now we got only seven more to go. Alrighty, so we're against Mini Javi 07. He is going to go for his archers, so I typically don't mind playing against decks with archers because I do have arrows, and he's got ghosts, so he might be running the Mega Knight deck, Mega Knight Bridge Spam, with the Ramrodder because that has ghosts and archers in it, and he's going to have his Little Prince as expected because literally everyone is running Little Prince, so no surprises there. We'll just cycle our Little Prince, he's probably going to pop the ability. Oh, he just misclicked the bandit. So really massive mistake on his end over there. And this might actually already be GG, to be honest, because doing that is like definitely brutal. So it's over. We just won. Let's go. We already won. Wow, that is wild. And just like that, we get to the 14 win mark. That's what I was saying to start feeling... um fairly confident again. I wanted to get to 14 wins after getting that early loss before losing another, and we made it happen. Potentially a little easier than I expected, especially with how quick this game went. Two, three crowns in a row, and that is now going to put us at 14 wins. Let's get our reward. This time we get 25,000 elite wild cards, which is halfway to an upgrade. So even if you don't get the 20, but if you're good enough to get to you know, 14 or even 12 wins, it could be well worth it because just those rewards are pretty dang good. And at the end of the day, the 20 wins gets you an emote. So an emote is just mostly a cosmetic or just something to, yeah, you know, brag or flex about. So it's not going to actually benefit you in terms of your progression in the game. But I guess at the end of the day, you know, most people want to get the 20 win as, as a flex for the most part. So, or just to prove to themselves that they can because it's a pretty big achievement not many people can achieve it in this game so this is very aggressive but i i think i'm gonna just lightning here i i really gotta try to get as much damage as i can in single elixir because i feel like in this type of matchup double is this is the i believe this is what i um i i, I lost or he has archers so this is better because my loss was to a guy that was running E-Giant with the Knight. This guy has Archers, which is the variant, 
most people use. So I'm very happy to see that. Um, we are going to have to try to block this Little Prince. And because he played the E-Giant Little Prince right next to each other, like back to back, he's not going to have the elixir he needs to use his ability. And just like that, we're now going to have some split lane pressure. He needs to address both lanes because if he ignores either one, he's going to be in a lot of trouble. So he opts to go for a bowler in the middle. That was actually some pretty solid defense on his end. I got to give him credit, but he did have to spend seven elixir to defend that. So I'm completely fine with that at the same time, even though he did end up defending that because now we can go in, apply a little bit of pressure, and I'll go arrows on his archers when when he plays those. Um, he's actually... Wow, he goes Little Prince. I feel like that... Oh, nice NATO. That was a pretty smart play on his end. I have to say, that was definitely smart. I didn't expect him to do that. Um, so yeah, that was a nice play on his end. So we'll just go Little Prince here, and he is going to go Bowler. I'm just going to go for a Sparky here, I guess. And I'm going to use my ability. It's going to just roll right through that bar barrel and forces a tombstone out of him. So I would definitely say that was pretty well worth it to use that ability there. I'm just going to go for a bar barrel on the evil archer. I want to get those off the board as soon as possible because they're pretty obnoxious, I have to say. He is going to go for his ability there. I'm going to get arrows going. Um... Wow, that was clutch that it shot that, and oh wow, the, okay, nice. Everything's working out in our favor right now. This is really good. I'm just going to go for a bar barrel here, and because he just used his... Oh shoot, I might have messed up. I played that right into the E-Giant. I will arrow the archers, though, immediately and get some pressure going before I defend, just because he has to defend also, so I know he won't be able... Oh, opposite lane. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's go. Nice win. I think 15 wins now, right? 15 and 1, baby. Let's go. Five more to go. Um, ooh, okay. This guy has a top 1,000 ladder finish, so pretty good. You know, most people at this point in the challenge are going to be pretty good who you play against, especially on day one. Um, pretty much everyone in the final five games is going to be a fairly decent player, um, with some exceptions. So, he is going to get his tombstone down. I'm going to go for a bar barrel here, I guess. Uh, mine as well. And then, I'm not going to use my... Oh, shoot. He's got a balloon. Uh-oh. That's definitely going to get a shot. Um, hopefully, it stays at one. I might have gotten my gob giant down too late, though, sadly. Uh, but, luckily, he, he has to defend. You know, this is not bad, actually. That was a lot of damage. But, this is not going to be an easy matchup, I feel like. Because I do not have a lot of air counters. And my lightning is not really going to be getting the value it's looking for. I guess that's the best way to put it. Now, that Balloon was very, very aggressive, though. I'm actually quite surprised he did that. Now, the Snowball is going to allow it to get a shot, but after that, I don't know how he's going to be able to defend this, unless he has Barbarians. Um, and sure enough, he's not going to be able to defend, as I expected. I will have to 100% probably arrow that, though, otherwise... Those are going to respawn, and I don't know if I exactly want to risk that. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to arrow, because I'm pretty certain one of those would have... <sighs> yeah, I that was not something I was comfortable risking, unfortunately. So he is going to go for his... Yeah, balloon here. I don't know how I feel about this. I'm a little bit worried, not going to lie. That's actually a nice lightning. I think I'm going to take that. Very nice lightning over there. I'm pretty happy with how that went. Very good defense. Obviously, he was able to defend as well. I'm going to try to focus here, but I do sadly think there's a very good chance this is a loss, primarily because I just can't really defend those balloons that well. But we will see. It ain't over until it's over.
And he used his snowball on defense instead of... Oh, wow! We might have won! Let's go! Let's go! That is not an easy matchup at all. Like, definitely not easy. All we have is one air counter. With that, we're 16 to 1. 50,000 elite wild cards. That's a whole upgrade. Here we go. Another guy with a top 1,000 ladder finish. So once again, you know, this is probably going to be pretty routine at this point, the rest of the challenge. In fact, when I'm at 18 or 19 wins, I could even play against someone who's like really, really good. I mean, because we're still, you know, for goodness sake, we're still only day one of, you know, the, the challenge here. So we, um, we could, we could get some really good players. We'll, uh, we'll see what happens. Um, I'm gonna Barbarrel here. Okay, he is gonna go for his Battle Ram, so this guy might be running, like... Alright, I'm gonna go in here. This is a little aggressive, but to be honest, like... We, you know, it's a lot of stuff we got coming in. He is gonna go for the ability. Um, mm -mm -mm. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, like, I could go... I might actually just straight up ignore that if he doesn't play anything else because it, it, it's not going to get that much damage because the Little Prince already lost a lot of its health. Like, it, it got some, but I, I feel like, you know, that wasn't really the end of the world. What he got? Okay, he went Archers. That's actually very good because that's, you know, that, yeah, I mean, yeah, that, that's good that he had to spend three Elixir there to defend that. I decided to go Sparky. If he goes Battle Rim in the other lane, I'm just going to have to bar barrel it which will easily save the tower um and give me a plus two trade and now i'm kind of hoping that he doesn't have like an e-wiz if he has an e-wiz here or something like that we're, we're probably uh... can i get uh oh at least i got refunded that would have been a disaster if i didn't Okay, cool, cool. This is actually a very good situation, I can't complain. I'm also gonna Lightning this, because even though it's like a bit of... Oh, shoot. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Nice, nice. Uh, let's just... I'm gonna let that Bandit dash, because he has a lot more damage. Mm, Alright, I'm thinking about what I want to do here. Alright, we might have to Gob Giant on defense. I think that's okay, even though he did get that connection just because. Ooh, that bandit was a little bit aggressive, I guess you could say. How much does a lightning do? Wait, it does enough. I'm stupid. We got it. Oh, I thought I was going to choke. What the heck, man? <laughs> oh my gosh. I thought I was going to choke. <laughs> I, I don't know. 17-1. <laughs> I don't know why, but for some reason I thought the lightning did like... Not enough. I, I don't know why. I, di I didn't want to... It's weird. I should know my spell damage, but it's like in those intense moments, you, you just, you, you know what I mean? Like, okay, we're gonna go Gob Giant in the opposite lane. Um, this is probably either Giant Graveyard or E Giant, if I had to say. So, um, the bowler's coming in. Okay, he is gonna go for his. Uh, let's actually go Little Prince here. Might be able to like snipe everything the bowler the cannon dang that was pretty good oh wow that um that was a v I, I don't know how i feel about that e giant i i, I don't I, mm, I don't know i'm i guess let's see what happens because that e giant felt a little bit too much potentially um well, let's just see. Let's just see. So he... 
Hmm. Okay. I don't know. This is gonna be interesting. He he. Hmm. All right. We gotta go other lane. The, the Dark Prince. That it. Nice. That's that's tower. That's tower. Let's let's go. Good stuff. You barbell here. I don't know if um. Okay, nice, 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 nice. I think we already won. I think we already won. I'm pretty, I'm pretty positive we won. Because now he has to go, like, he has to go for a push soon. But I have my Sparky in cycle. Like, he's gonna lightning it. Doesn't kill the Sparky, so he's gonna need to get, like, a bowler. Or try to get something behind the E-Giant. But we're gonna try to block or whatever. Now the bowler's not even in range, so he'd have to, like, NATO it in. I think we're chilling. Like, I feel like no matter what, we're kind of, we're kind of chilling here at this point. Um, we just kind of have to block the whole lane. Um, and this is why I love having arrows in the deck, because there's so many people using the Evolved Archers. So we got this coming in here. We could probably just pop the ability over here. Yeah, good stuff. And then he is going to get the E-Giant going. But our tower is still pretty healthy. The main thing is we just gotta... Come on, don't kill everything. Okay, nice. I was hoping that little prince wasn't gonna take out Sparky. We're completely fine. Got a little nervous there. But that's normal because we're getting towards the end of the challenge. And it's like... You guys know how it is. You don't want to throw and... You know, you get that like 19 and 2 or whatever. Or... Or sorry, 19 and 3. Or even 18 and 3 is... J just, just brutal stuff. So that's gonna get us the... Yeah, the Legendary King's Chest, we can just go ahead and pop this open. Um, it doesn't really matter what I take because I got everything, every card on level 14. So it's just going to convert to the, you know, the, you know, the, the stuff anyway. So, you know, we can just spam through this and there we go. Two more to go. And I already have the emote, so I'm curious to kind of see what happens. Deva, okay, this guy's got a top 1000 ladder finish. Good luck, sir. Let's just go for our knight in the back immediately first play. And he's going to have a nice spirit. So it's probably going to be hog or minor. We can pretty much already assume that's going to be what it is just by seeing one singular card. It could, I suppose, I suppose it could also be expo, like a small chance of that, that like expo pump deck. Um... Wow, that is very aggressive that he decided to... I'm going to bar barrel this just in case because I don't... I don't know. I, I don't know if he was going to go for the... You know what? I probably didn't even need to do that, but it's whatever. Who cares? So he is going to go for the cannon. I'm just going to get a knight in front of this, and then we'll actually... From there, I guess, just chill. Should be all right. Um... Oh my goodness, massive mistake over there on his end, and the Sparky even gets a shot on the tower as well. Really, really good situation for me right now. This might even already be... I don't want to jinx it and say it, but... Okay, no, it's definitely not a good game yet, especially because he defended that Gob Giant really well. To be honest, that was probably a really bad Goblin Giant on my end. <laughs> I got a little bit, like, too excited after the... Oh, shoot. This is a little bit of a problem, I'm not gonna lie. Can't miss any. Nice. God, the Evo Skellies are broken. Especially against decks like mine. Um. Okay, he did have to... Eh. I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm not feeling as good as I was when this... When I got that Sparky connection, because now things are not looking too hot, I have to say. Um, but we will see what happens, I suppose. We will see what happens. I'm going to Sparky up here, because I guess we can just go Dark Prince. Yeah, on the pigs, if he yeah, chooses to do that, which obviously he does. So, we got, yeah, Knight and a DP in the opposite lane, which is pretty good. Um, I don't know, he's probably gonna have to... Okay. I'm gonna lightning the little prince as well. Uh, 
Um. I'm very surprised he actually went pigs in that lane. That caught me off guard. It was a smart play by him. I did not expect it. I'm gonna lightning both of those. Okay. Okay, man. I'm getting a little stress. This might be the push, though. Potentially. Let's see what happens. I think we got it. The log doesn't even do enough anyway. Let's go. <laughs> no way, man. These games are just too close for comfort. 19-1. I, as, I found the game immediately. Okay. 318 ladder finish. What was that? Top 500 rail tournament finish. He's in Crusher. 21's clan as well. Okay. Feeling pretty good. We, we have an extra life as well. So, okay, fireball's that. <sighs> Let's Sparky here. I'm just gonna do it. I don't know if he's gonna pop the ability or not, but. All right. He actually did, wow. He did use the ability. Um, Okay, what the heck is this deck? What is he using? He has fireball. I don't know what this is. It's Drill! It's Drill, okay. Um, the Dark Prince is gonna be very good in this matchup because, y you know, the, um, it's very good against the Drill. It's probably, I would say it's like a top three best Drill counter in the game, give or take. So, that's pretty good. I'm, I'm going to wait for him a, a little bit because I, I, I don't really want to cycle anything right now. I feel like the thing is, though, is because he has the delivery, he, he definitely can, you know, he can defend pretty well. So, you know, even though I do have Dark Prince, this is not like, an easy matchup necessarily um but i mean we'll we'll see what happens i will i actually you know we'll, we'll just see Ooh, he's got the Evo Knight. This should be probably an easy defense for him. Uh, okay, at least... It kind of sucks he got the Guardian down in time. Um, but it's alright, I guess. Let's see. This is going to be a very interesting... <laughs> Close clean, probably. Ah, he keeps getting the ability in on time, which is helping him a lot. Nice, the, the little prince got loads of value right there, and he actually just sent in the drill. I feel like that drill might have been a little aggressive, just because I did have my dark prince in cycle.
I was really wanting the lightning if he drops a little prince, but he was smart to not go for one there. That's a lightning, though. I think I'm actually just going to lightning that immediately, because um, he won't be able to get the ability down. Ooh, that's a free bar barrel for me as well. Alright. That's pretty nice. This is this is pretty good. This is pretty good. Not gonna lie. This is very good. His ability is out of hand as well. Yep, everything is working out very nicely right now. We even have the lead as well right now. I feel like um I feel I feel like we got this. I'm feeling pretty good. Especially because that drill was also quite the overcommitment there as well. Lightning coming in, he might be able to get the ability off, but even if he does, damage is already going to be dealt. Spear Goblin's on top of the tower. Oh, man. Yeah, I think we got it. I think we got it. Unless I, I have the biggest choke of all time, I think we got it because the tower is literally in lightning in arrow range, which means we are going to get me... We are going to get the 20 wins. It took a couple tries, but... We got it. This was, yeah, my second try doing it. We got it. Second try. Let's go. 20 and 1. Give this deck a try, guys. It's going to be very, very good. I already have the emote, but I guess we're getting it again for a second time. Um, let me, I guess. Oh, let's go. You get, so you get that as well. You get a badge and then the emote, which I already got. So um, does I get, do I get a second emote now? How does that work? Okay, so here it is. It says new, even though I already had the emote from the 2019 20 win challenge. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this walkthrough. I hope you guys enjoyed the 0 to 20. It'll be probably my longest video ever on YouTube. So.